New Testament, when they lied unto the Spirit. Yep, they deliberately. They chose to sin. They chose disobedience. They knew what the Spirit said. The Spirit says, we're going to take all that everyone has. God gave direction. We're going to put it all together. And we're going to divide it equally. So we're all going to be equal. And they says, no. We won't. They, well, they didn't even have to go along with that. They right. weren't forced to go along right. with that. But they chose to lie. But they chose to lie to the Holy Spirit. Yes, and deceive. And they were, they were struck dead instantly. And, 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 you know, we, we, serve, we serve a loving God, like you just Absolutely. said. Absolutely. But the Word of God, when you go back, and you got to go back. Some people say, well, the Old Testament is separated. No, no. This, the Bible says that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Mm -hmm. So the things that he gave us in the Old Testament, he wanted us uh, 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 to realize that there is things there. Yes. And uh, the Word says that, that he disciplines those he loves. Right. And you know the difference between the Old Testament and the New Testament? is because his son came and died, there is more patience, more grace there. In the Old Testament, we saw God come immediately. And then, boom, boom. that was it. it was, there, there, there was no time frame between it. It was immediate, boom. Sodom and Gomorrah. Exactly, immediate destruction. But he comes, Jesus comes with the staff, and he, he tries to draw his sheep back into the fold. Say, come on, you don't, you don't want to be part of that. Yeah. You don't want to touch that sin. You don't want to be part of the world. You don't want to be talking like that. You don't want to be acting like that. But then there comes a point in time when they don't respond. No different than a child. Yep. You'll, you'll tell that child how many times, please don't do that. Please don't say that. Please don't act like that. But you know what? If they keep going, 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 they'll come to the point in time where they will receive punishment. Much more than just the word that you're speaking. That's right. And it's no different. And if Christ does not come in and deal with his children and discipline them, we can never be who Christ has called us to be. Sin, when it's chosen, has to be judged. This world is about to be judged for the wickedness in it. That's right. This That's country right. is right. going to be judged because from government down, we are choosing to take God out of anything possible. Everywhere that we can, we're choosing to do it as a nation. And God abides and he sits there and his grace and his grace and he reaches out and he reaches out. But there comes a point in time where he says, that's it. That's it. That's enough. No more. No more. In fact, Christ recently came to me and he spoke to me and he said, if I continue to allow my church to go the direction they're going, they will end up over the cliff. Wow. He says, so I have to step in right now and bring judgment upon my church. But the judgment that I bring, I'm bringing in love because he's about to call back unto him the prodigal sons and the prodigal daughters who are playing in the pig pens, who are rolling around in the mud. Because there is no more time for Christ to continually allow the church to do what it's doing. Because the church is supposed to be out there professing that Jesus Christ is Lord, bringing the unsaved into the fold. That's but right. yet they themselves are walking in the darkness. They certainly are. They certainly are. We just want to take this moment uh, uh, just for a, a quick second here. Uh, Scott has his own TV program called Are You Ready? And um, uh, do you have the times and, and days that it's on at this, at this time? Yes, for this particular um, cycle, you can watch it on uh, Wednesdays um, on Channel 20 okay. um, for public access. And you can watch it uh, Monday nights. At is that in Brookhaven, Hopog area? Yes, the Channel 20 is in the Brookhaven, Hopog area. Okay. And uh, Monday nights is uh, 9 o'clock on IO Digital, Channel 115, for those who have IO Digital. Okay, and, and that covers all of Nassau County and part of Suffolk County. Yes. So yeah, yeah, check, 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 check your listings. Uh, right. if, you, if you look on Channel 14 on uh, 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 the uh, uh, channel that tells you what's on, yes. uh, I know over here in the Brookhaven Hopog uh, area, it, uh, it, uh, it'll tell you the name of the program. And the name of Scott's program is called Are You Ready? And uh, we just want you to... Uh, uh, we have a website, 
And that website, uh, uh, we put on all the programs.